Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG! Since last time, I got another frog coin after completing the barrel jumping event again, and, well, now we finally made it to Tadpole Pond! And Frog Fucius himself! Hmm. Well, where is everyone around here? Huh. Did, did I get the wrong place? What's that? Oh, hey! It's a little... Uh... What are you? Oh, well, I guess a tadpole. I mean, it is called Tadpole Pond. Is that what tadpoles really look like? I don't know. You might have realized by this point in the LP that biology was not my strong subject. Oh, yeah. Below me. It's French. No. No. Oh, what is this, Secret of Mana? Oh, that's how he's so wise. No, I'm Jumpman. No, no, that's another game. But I heard that Mario was originally known as <laughs> Jumpman. <laughs> Those tadpoles surprised me. <laughs> kind of reminds me of one of the endings to Legend of Mana. With all those little Sproutling guys. Hmm. Yeah, press the B button to demonstrate how good you are at jumping. Uh, I'm a tadpole, not a grasshopper. Oh, well, where is he? Is he just like some non-corporeal entity or something? Huh? Well, what's going on? Who are you talking to? Whoa, he can float! Or, or, oh, or maybe not. Oh, hey, it's a lucky two! What, you got a fish hook up your ass? Ah. Nice beard you got there, pal. Movember indeed. But the young people always have to save the world in these JRPGs. Uh, okay, let's. Oh, where are we gonna go? Uh, I was gonna say I can't swim, but then I remembered. Oh, right, I'm Mario. I'm one of the few v R JRPG characters who actually can swim. But, all right. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Dance to the music, viewers. I love the music. <laughs> Just such a happy tune. This game has so much happy music. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice, even though I'm going in the complete wrong direction. Or not. Is that a pun game? She's no longer in this castle anymore? Or, well, your princess is in another castle, I mean. Right. Yeah, I was kind of there. Oh, yeah, but that was after I kind of got thrown out of there. Three of us? Oh, right, the other... Oh, Bowser. Right. Hmm. What would ever happen to Bowser, anyway? Eh, I wouldn't worry about him. Smithy? Oh. Are they allies of Bowser or something? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we did find one of those things. Oh. Well, how do you do that? I don't believe you. I don't believe your lies. Don't believe Andor's lies. Okay, well, we gotta collect the... However many MacGuffins there are with the stars. Well, 
seven stars, it's in the title of the game. Oh. Okay, I guess Bowser isn't working with him then, huh? We got a new bad guy in the Mario series. No! I don't need to hear that again. Well, we could use a little more help. Nah, that couldn't possibly be true. Now you're just talking crazy, Mallow. But they don't. We just brought them home. Oh, hey, all right. More party members. Well, okay, he's already in our party, but I'm making up for not saying it earlier. I'm surprised as many people pointed that out as they did. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't exactly seem like the best idea for a tadpole to be using thunder magic, though. Hmm? W why'd the music stop? <gasps> Idiot! What, you didn't know? He doesn't look anything like the other tadpoles! He looks like a marshmallow or a cloud or something. I don't know. Oh, or fluff, whatever. Crisco? How far away could he possibly have come from? No, Ma Mallow, no, don't, don't, don't do it, Mallow! Ah, thank goodness. Even though it has nothing to do with uh, Smithy, but you might as well go with them anyway. Mario can't do it alone. What do you want me to do? Rely on Luigi? Oh, yeah, I suppose I could use a healer. Well, no, not really, but... Eventually, I will max out my jump spell. It does max out, by the way. And, well, I'll be able to use my FP for other things. And Thunderbolt is really, really good. Or at least as far as damage per M or FP. Rose Town, huh? Well, okay, sounds like a plan. Snack, huh? Well, I have just the thing for you. Yay! Happy music. But anyway, yeah, you got the well, the rare frog coin, the cricket pie, you give that to Frog Fuchsius. And we get the Froggy Stick, our first weapon for Mallow there, and it's pretty good, too. He's going to be able to keep up with Mario on damage, practically. Let's see, Mario... Okay, yeah, now you've got six, er, 56 attack, Mario has 60. Yeah, he's almost right up there with him. So, alright. What's this thing say? Hmm. Looks like some kind of lyrics or tones or notes or something. But, okay. Well, okay, let's head on back then. Just head on over here and jump across all these tadpoles. But there's still something else that I want to do here. If you go over here now, these two show up. And we get our first frog coin shop in the game. So, yeah, we've been collecting them up to now, and well, now we can buy things with them. I'd recommend saving them for later, for now. Most of these are just little status boosters or items, but we really don't need them early in the game. They're much more useful later in, later on. So, I'm not going to worry about that. Card member? What kind of card? I don't have a card. Why do I need a card? I don't need to show you no stinking card. But anyway, yeah, since I don't have a membership card or something, 
we can only buy one item, but this one's actually pretty good. Uh, restores everyone's HP by 30, so that's not bad when you're gonna fight monsters who can, well, deal damage to your entire party. But before we do, can even consider buying that, let's go over here. And just in case you missed that sign behind Frogfucius there, Tarovsky? Is that like Tchaikovsky or something? I like Tchaikovsky though. But yeah, in case you missed the sign there, this guy tells you the song again. So, hmm. Well, okay, I'll keep that in mind. So, let's head on over here to Melody Bay, right next to the uh, tadpole pond there. Hmm. Okay, sounds like a plan. Let's play the song. I'll just show you how to do this without going into musical theory or anything like that. Not a music teacher. You gotta press the B button in order to jump on all these guys. Yes, I got it. Phew. At least I think I got it. Yeah, that looks good. So, I mean, I could explain musically why that's what the notes are and everything like that, but, well, it doesn't really matter. So I figured I'd have to show you there, and we get an alto card. All right. It's a membership card for, well, the shop that we just went back, or we just passed up there. Well, thank you. Is that a Wind Waker you got there? No. No. Oh, but you know what? I should probably save here. Okay, so let's see. We got that. Let's save there. And let's see what we can do with the Alto card there. But yeah, we're going to be getting access to more cards and thus uh, more stuff as we progress through the game and learn more songs. So we're going to have to come back here periodically to well, upgrade our membership status. So now that we have an Alto card, we get access to another item there. An elixir. And, yeah, so that... But we don't need that right now. We don't have enough HP to... I don't think anyone has 80 HP yet. Uh, froggy drinks also cost less now that we have an alto card there. So that's pretty nice. So, yeah, as you get more cards, things will cost less, and you'll get access to more items. But, yeah, we have no use for an elixir right now. But, well, I just figured I'd show you the one... A card that we can get at this point in the game. But can we make our way through Roseway to Rose Town? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!